here is this many reasons why you should sell your downhill bike now or maybe just not buy one in the first place. Downhill bikes are normally subject to major depreciation. At the moment, second-hand bike prices are high, so now is the time to sell one. Most people with a downhill bike also own a long travel enduro rig. This can ride 95% of the stuff that you can ride in a downhill bike. So do you really need both? Now, if you don't have any other bikes apart from your downhill bike, you should sell it because it basically restricts you to one type of riding. And if you don't have uplifts on tap or you don't live next door to Whistler, what's the point? Maybe you do live near a bike park and you're thinking to yourself, Ah, I can use my downhill bike instead of my good bike and I can keep my good bike good and save myself some money. Well, that doesn't really work. The price of a new downhill bike and the price of the basic maintenance for it seems to work out, in my experience, as about the same price as buying new wheels, tyres and keeping your good bike up to date with nice kit. If you own other bikes apart from your downhill bike, there's a good chance you use them a lot more than your downhill bike. Be honest with yourself, do you ride your downhill bike enough? I sold mine because I hadn't touched it in many months. Selling your downhill bike means exchanging it for money. Money's good because it lets you buy other things. By other things, I obviously mean bikes. Here's the bike I bought after I sold my downhill bike. Nothing like the downhill bike, nothing like any of the other bikes that I own, and I think that makes it a great buy. And a final reason, do you race downhill? Probably not. I used to race downhill quite a lot. Don't race anymore, don't need a downhill bike. Thanks for watching the video. If you've liked it, please subscribe. Cheers. And before I forget, if you think my ideas are absolutely stupid and everyone should keep their downhill bike or buy a new one, then, Put it in the comments.